call the meeting to order. Those willing and able, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> all right. Okay, everybody get mic'd up. I'm fine. I'm just going to make it bigger. Uh-oh. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve the agenda with the additions? So moved. Katie Second. and Randy? Okay. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of approval of the agenda with the additions signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Hearing none, motion passes. For public forum, no. any nothing. Okay, move on to number five. There's nothing. Number six, the consent agenda. Before I go for a motion on the consent agenda, I'd like to thank Christ the King Lutheran Church for a hundred dollar donation to the wellness room, and Jasper W E L C A donation of fifty dollars to the wellness room and would like to res uh, recognize Cal Jan's maintenance director for his 19 years of service to the district upon his resignation and the resignation of Cindy Miller, library professional for her 33 years of service to the district. Do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Did you get them, Deb? Yep. Okay, is there any further discussion? Just, they're retiring. <laughs> the retirement of Cal and uh, Cindy. Cindy. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of approval of the consent agenda signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Hearing none, motion passes. Number seven, financials. 7.1, review elementary building budget year to date. Does anybody have any questions? I'd just add this month's bills were about 960000 and we're about $24.5 to date on the project. I know things are wrapping up, but like I mentioned before, there's a lot of punch lists and the little things that need to be done. There's a major uh, asphalting going on, so there are some uh, few big ticket items that are going on there too, but uh, uh, so far everything's been still moving along well. Okay, and so far, Jackie, everything is set to be available as needed, or no problem pulling the money out of the accounts, or? No, we're caught up now, so. Okay, that's a non-action item. 7.11, review new elementary building bills. Oh, I just did that. <laughs> no, you did the budget. You did the budget. You did the oh, wow. <laughs> I said how much we spent this month. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Are there any questions on the building bills? Any questions? That's a non-action item. Move on to 7.1.2. Approve the treasurer's report for elementary building bond. Jackie? Let's see, I've got to get the all wrong one, Jackie. I'm going to start using paper again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cash balance is $5.2 million. Yep, and everything ties out. And this is just a summary to make sure that what Ralph Sanderson has and what PMA has and what I have on my books all ties out. Okay. Are there any questions for Jackie? Any questions? Can I have a motion to approve the treasurer's report for the elementary building bond? So moved. Second. Brad and Randy. <coughs> okay, all those in favor of approving the treasurer's report for the elementary building bond signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Hearing none, motion passes. 7.2, review of budget year to date. Now, how are we doing there, Jackie? We're doing fine. I didn't make any budget transfers, so you'll notice some of the lines are like over 100%. This is, talk to Mr. Enerson about it, and it's 
really doesn't serve a purpose right now to do it, other than to make me look better. And I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> concerned about that. They'd have all been right on if it wouldn't have been for a few changes and additions that we had right. with some things like hiring a distance learning teacher, yeah. and uh, you know those weren't and the, part of the budget when we started last year. So, yeah. and a few other things. That were pretty minor. So our budget year today, right now, we're at ninety-three percent, and last year at this time we we're at ninety-four percent. So we're right in where we're supposed to be. Okay, and that's a non-action item. Seven point three. Approve the treasurer's report for June. Jackie. Okay. Cash balance is eight point. I could see it. Twenty-five percent. Maybe I can see that. Eight point six. Eight point six million. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, there's not a whole lot to say about it. Okay. Like if I do all the bank reconciliations and make sure once again that my cash balance ties out and the bank statements to what's on the books. Okay. Does anybody have any questions for Jackie? Any questions? Can I have a motion to approve the treasurer's report for June? So moved. Second. Chrissy and Randy. All those in favor of approval of the treasurer's report for June signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Hearing none, motion passes. 7.4, approve regular bills for July. Does anybody have any questions on the regular bills for July? On the very last couple of pages um, to the rec center, what, it's like twelve thousand dollars. Yeah, what are we paying them for? There's one for twelve thousand and a payment for five. Yeah. One is <coughs> for support of the programs that we run in the summer, and the other one is for the after school program. So it's through community ed, right? Mm -hmm. Through community ed, okay. yes. Yep. And that's the same amount that we've been paying them since I've been here. <laughs> okay. So I, I was just, I'm like, I wonder why we were paying them. I mean, and we get that in the levy money. And basically, basically, we get that in the levy money, and then we turn around and they bill us and we give it to them. Okay. It's kind of like the summer recreation program. That's what part of it was for. And the other they was. Get, we just, through our community, had help fund some of those activities. Yeah. We're the fiscal host. And right. No. Are there any other questions? I also just, I was, and since we're asking questions, the country club, is that in the same dollar amount as what we normally do for a year? No. Is it for they the have lease? a new agreement this year. So we, we did a new agreement? Right. Okay, because that seems like way more than what we've done in the past. Yep. They came up with a, an agreement with the number of golfers and different activities we have out there and kind of build out more because <coughs> before it was like a thousand dollars a year. Yeah, I was thinking like 1400 or something yeah. was in my head. So, and then we've got a couple of cart sheds, so they put this together and that was the agreement that we had with them. And then we'll evaluate it every two years to look at again how many golfers there were and then kind of base the fee on that primarily. So, but yeah, it is a different than what has been in the past. Okay. Are we able to fund that through the lease levy? Yes, okay. we'll be able to do lease levy for those. It's kind of like the bowling alley for FIED and um, a few other things that we do. We use uh, when we have our activities or classes at different places. So. Okay. Are there any other questions? Hearing none, can I have a motion to approve the regular bills for July? So moved. Second. Katie and Randy. Okay. All those in favor of approval of the regular bills for July signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Hearing none, motion passes. 7.5, approve high school activity bills for July. Does anybody have any questions on them? Any questions on the activity bills? Hearing none, can I have a motion to approve the high school activity bills for July? So moved. Second. 
Did you get that down? Okay. Yep. All those in favor of approval of the high school activity bills for July signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Hearing none, motion passes. Move on to number eight, the board forum and information. 8.1, board reports and updates. Does anybody from the board have anything to contribute? I can give an update on the library board. Oh, perfect. Uh, the last meeting we elected officers, so Evan Schiller will be the chairman. <coughs> Justin Shorey will be the <coughs> vice chairman. And Melanie is the secretary. Um, we got to tour the Living Water exhibit that's in the, in the library. It's really neat. I would encourage everyone to go check it out. Um, it actually has a feeling kind of like you're in the Science Museum. I mean, it's got that thing. And, and they have a lot of testimonials from people that are in the county. And I don't know how long it took them to get this information, but it's a really neat thing just to participate in. Um, other than that, we just had some regular business, and that was it. But, yeah. Okay. Uh, facility steering committee met, and we did tour the facility, or portions of it. Yeah. Um, coming along great. The food area, the tables and benches and stuff are in, in the commons now, and they're, <laughs> they're pretty nice. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it sounded like equipment's going in the uh, weight room before too long. August 16th is kind of the date that they're <coughs> looking at turning it over to us for some occupancy. So yep. we've, of course, been trying to push to get in a few days, weeks earlier. But, uh, so will the weight room be available for when fall sports start? Or no? I, I can't. I, I think we can move equipment in. I'm not exactly sure when okay. it's ready for full blown. Okay. Um, but I think August 16th is starting to be a day. So if that's if they give you, us the green light, it could be where that could be used. Okay. Used then. And yeah, they were just wiring it and lights when we were in there last week. Right. Flooring's in now. Flooring. And yeah. So yeah. And and equipment has to come. To so. Yeah. 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 So we did the facility steering committee and then we did a negotiations committee meeting shortly thereafter that one. Um, we have one again this Wednesday night, negotiations committee. Um, we've agreed to a couple of small items and we'll see how this week goes. Other than that, that's about all I've heard. Which staff is it? This, is it teachers or? Teachers. Is that's what I thought. And we do have a few other staff, but we haven't started with them yet. Yep. Have they decided okay. what they're going to, are they going to raise the road in the corner? I thought that's what we talked to them about. Right. I didn't know where they were at. Because down here by the stop sign here, where it's all always tore up, mm -hmm. Jeff and I thought, well, maybe we should tile it to get the water to quit running out of that hill. Well, I come in last Thursday, I think, I met with Donick, and they had a better idea to raise that road up, hmm. clean the culvert out, and then south of the culvert so the water can get away, you know, quit, should quit doing what we're doing, because they're going to tear it out anyway. Right. Well, it needs to be fixed. <coughs> it's going to be a right. problem. Right. Yeah. Yep. I mean, otherwise, we'll be back in there in a couple of years. Yeah. Right. And then September 15th is going to be a grand opening, the dedication. Um, it's a Wednesday during the school day is what we're looking at. So. Okay. Um, I did have, I guess, I don't know where I should put um, I had a couple of community members concerned about um, the extra traffic out here. And I know we've had discussed about a crossing guard from, you know, or I should say this way to Paulson Fields after school and before school for those bikers and for those um, people going to practice after school. I don't know if that's something, but I know I had two people concerned about that. We've had some preliminary conversations about bus pickups and traffic flow, so 
Can Ideally, we, we shouldn't have kids crossing 30 at Brown anymore because we've got a, we're looking at having a pickup at the Harmon Park shelter and then also on the kind of the southwest corner of Brown. And uh, so, but you know, at first bikers? day of school, we're going to want to make sure nobody is there, so we'll probably, but then eventually we'll be able to relocate that crossing guard back up well, here. I know my son will be crossing there. Bikes. There's a lot of kids that bike. Yeah, I mentioned that before when I walk in the morning. A lot of kids that it's bike. It's unbelievable it. the amount of kids that use this path. Yeah. Either on foot or on okay. bike. And I know a lot of them come from Brown. I know they do. Okay. I yeah, can think of four kids right now that bike. <clears throat> this it's a busy highway and it's a dangerous highway. This neighborhood over here by um, by West Westview, Debs, a um, lot of those kids either walk or ride bike together too. And mm -hmm. you know that Second Street Northwest mm -hmm. is going to be different than it's ever been. Yep. <clears throat> I just want to make sure that we're not starting off the school year with, you know, I mean, and we have that problem right away where. I, I would say we're better off to be over right. um, staffed with it at first and then see where we can kind of cut back, cut afterwards. back, then be understaffed yep. and then put kids at risk. That's my thought. Well, safety first. Mm -hmm. Even if the buses come in there, Katie, they're still riding bike or they my just kid always bike. want to? Or? They just want to. Okay. How about like in the winter? They, then they would ride the bus. Okay. There's still some that ride bike. I think there's still some that ride bike, but I, he, he rides the bus. I take my walk when they're coming to school, and it's unbelievable the amount of kids. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's good. I mean, but we want to encourage people to bike, too. You know, yep. I think that's... Well, that's a healthy that. alternative. Yeah, it is. Which and, they it, did, and it's less which, people on your bus, too. Which that they did redo that path. Stuff. Yep. And that's really nice. They repaved it all the way, the one out through Paulson. Who's they? Fuller, I would guess. School. Who's them? Us. Yeah, 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 we did that. School really, district. That turned out really nice. Yeah. Good. To your horn. Yeah. Okay. Which, it, which it needed to be. It needed to be redone. Well, and, and I don't know even at this <coughs> one, maybe you could have older kids do it. I mean, maybe it doesn't, I don't know how, what the requirements are of a crossing guard. It, I mean, can you have like a school patrol where maybe a students, I don't know, that are older. I mean, it's just this, it's a matter of the parking lot, more or less. No. I don't know, that's just a thought, too. Well, we I, haven't communicated our, all of this yet, right. so I mean, we're, we're getting ready for our getting back to school and yep. these type of things, and then uh, again, open houses before school starts, yep. and getting people to familiar with where 15. everything's going to be okay. and how we're going to move out here so that you know that's all coming so right. I understand um, but those are legitimate concerns we, we need to address so yeah are there any anything else from the board um, yeah I had a church call me and ask what the criteria was going to be for like the early out on Wednesdays like, can they have practice right after school at 1.30? Or are they going to be able to, like, have, like, a religion class from, like, 1.30 to 3.45, say, and then, then they go back to practice? Or is there going to be practice times scheduled in that? Typically, we'd, we'd encourage there to be the church things right. going on. That, that, um, that's what they want to do, but they don't want to be like, okay, now we're going to have it. Well, oh, crap, now you have tennis practice, and you have basketball practice, yeah. and you have this. I mean, they want to... Clear cut, there's going to be absolutely no practices until 345. Okay. I know our church had asked about I that mean, too. If, what the Because that would be, I mean, I think that would make the most sense rather than kids <coughs> driving home and then coming back for practice and then driving back home and then coming drive, driving back in for church and then driving back home. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. I think it would just be a whole lot easier you just go right to church and then you go right to practice and then you're done. The coaches who don't teach don't have duties that right so, I mean but so can, they, we, they, can we put that somewhere where they can't have a practice I think that was where we can I mean if there are things that are going on we can most certainly uh, I think we'd like to accommodate that and so. I'm sure like 4-H can have lots of programming in that time too I say if it's a clear-cut thing then people know that they can yep. use it for that type of yep. stuff if not then we just say no under no circumstances no practices until 345 mm-hmm 
Yeah. Because that's when the teachers are contracted for anyway, correct? Right. Yeah. Has, has there been any discussions about like more after school programming with the early outs or anything like that at all? And then we have access to those American Rescue Plan dollars for after school programs right now. Could, right. could we talk more about maybe growing something with those funds? I know we talked about needs and if there were needs for different types of um, helping out with children not having somewhere to go mm -hmm. and maybe putting together some type of thing. So um, I know that's been a conversation that we could utilize some of our paraprofessionals for some of those yeah. things if they're not having training and mm -hmm. uh, where that's at. Because we do have everybody contracted for that time. So okay. What I know as far as at least I think the church, it's mainly middle school, correct? That's what we're... Well, middle school, and I think, like, well, from up my end, I think that St. Leo's is thinking about high school students oh, okay. as well. I would say, because I know our is concerned about That would be the time to do school. it. If you're going to do part yeah, of them, do yeah, it all. Yeah, do it all. Yep. The hard part about that mm -hmm. is those middle schoolers then have to go home at noon and come back either well, way. Well, they would go to religion, too. Well, I know, but that's a all, long religion right. time. You're well, talking one to whatever, and then till 3.45. One, I mean, I'm just... One thirty. that's two hours. That's what, well, St. Leo's does one, one and a half hours already anyway. Right. I mean, then you could probably do, like, a little bit more uh, hands-on and, like, yeah. huge group activities. Yeah. I'm know. just, that's just my thought. I just know we talked about it, too, and... Yeah. We, we've talked about it, too, and... Those kids going, you know, they're just at that age. A lot of them are that 6th, 7th, and 8th grade that are not driving. You know, I mean, it's... Yep. You know, it's things to think about. Okay. Are there any other board comments? Okay. I would, I would just encourage those churches to contact our building principals and let them know, okay. um, you know, what they're thinking, so that we, okay. you know, can have that um, know what's going on and where things are at. So. Okay. Well, I would think that ministerial group itself would try and work yeah. together to. Yeah, I think so. They do. do yeah, I think they meet once a month. Or once or two. One Do we know who's like in charge of that? Or? It used to be. Um, uh, they kind of take turns. With I think they do take turns hosting it. Group. Yeah. Um, I thought that one guy from the one out by Hill School was in charge. Was the head guy right now? But that could change too. I guess, I'm not sure. Okay. I can ask you, but I don't. Okay, then we'll move on to number nine, administrators report. 9.1 superintendent's board report um i guess just to uh, the uh, the legislature did conclude its sessions and uh they did give school districts 2.5 percent and two percent on the formula each of the or over the next uh, two-year biennium so that that's been a little bit higher than what we've usually got so that was that was good to see uh, there's also some special education funding that's associated with that then they have a lot of specialty projects that we're in that I don't know how much of that will impact us. Uh, Policy-wise, not a whole lot of things there. They did kind of hold off on new standard implementation kind of across the board for a few years. I think with everything uh, that's going on, they just wanted to slow that whole process down, so they've extended that out uh, uh, two, two to four years, uh, depending upon the different content areas. So, um, But overall, uh, that, you know, come out we've come out well with that um, so that'll be a good thing for our, for our budget and that'll help out a little bit there and then uh, I guess the only other thing I would um, look at is uh, just you know we've got positions uh, available at the district uh, paraprofessional support staff um, uh, a custodian we've got uh, some teacher needs and those types of things so um, we're just putting out some things on using a few other sources to try to make sure that people know that we have those uh, positions available and if they're looking for some work here this fall uh, please let us know so that's kind of where that's at so okay and then I would just say that we're starting to gear up for school uh, admin team met last week uh, and then we uh, start meeting again next week and getting things really the ball rolling for the start of school as of right now, um, you know, we're planning to start school as, as a normal year. 
the only things that we're waiting for clarification on right now, masks on bus would be required. Uh, we'll see how that is, how that goes. We've got a little while left to go there. Um, and then uh, see what, you know, you know, the health that they come up with other guidelines. But right now they've had nothing for us. So our plan is to kind of move forward, do the best we can. Um, we'll have more details. I'll just let you know we're probably going to have to have a special board meeting the 9th of August to just to, for things to before school. And just some, I'm just anticipating we're going to have to have a special meeting in a couple weeks just to take care of a few things. So, employee contracts and also procedural items. So, keep next two weeks or August 9th on your calendar <laughs> open. <laughs> okay, does anybody have any questions for Kevin? Any questions? Okay, here now we'll move on to 9.2, Director of Curriculum Teaching and Learning. Melanie. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, we wrapped up our July math camp, um, otherwise known as July Summer School, um, but we had 12 students attend uh, from Edgerton. We had a total of 71 students um, attend a majority of the days. They had a blast, and our staff did an amazing job. Mrs. Finical and Mr. Wielenberg worked with all of the teachers to make sure there were some extra special math activities. Um, we now have a plethora of sidewalk chalk and a, f a lot of fun things to do with sidewalk chalk for math. Um, so we were excited, and the kids loved it. Um, just, you know, every time I would walk into a room, they were doing something <coughs> new and different, and it was all about math. So it was, it was good for our students. Um, other than that, I've been working through our district data downloads with our MCA results. I can't speak to them at this moment in time because they are embargoed results. Um, but know that I'm looking through them and will be reporting to Mr. Enerson later this week on the findings of that information. So we can't speak about them until they are embargoed, which would be the end of August. Okay. Anything else? That Nothing? is it at this moment. Okay. Does anybody have any questions for Melanie? Any questions? Okay. Thank you. And we'll move on to number 10, discussion items. Does anybody have any discussion they want to take place? Any discussion? None. We'll move on to our next board action. 11.1 um, to 11.5 are the handbooks, and we're going to approve them in one motion. Um, so we got 11.1 is the 21-22 handbook for Little Arrows Preschool. 11.2 <clears throat> is the 21-22 handbook for Pipestone Elementary. 11.3 is the 21-22 Middle School handbook. 11.4 is the 21-22 high school handbook. And 11.5 is the 21-22 activities handbook. Are there any questions on them? Um, I had a one question. Well, I have two questions. Because um, I just noticed this. We should probably take that, the one Rachel off there as a preschool teacher. We should probably remove that before we print them um, if it hasn't been printed. And then... So I was looking through this. So they don't have to be potty trained to come to preschool? Because I've seen that in here somewhere. i got to look for it. Yes. Your child does not need to be toilet trained to attend preschool? I've seen that. Is that true? I would imagine that a lot of two-year-olds aren't. Two and three-year-olds aren't. So no staff is changing diapers and stuff. That is my question. I, I just never knew that that was, I assumed all kids had to be potty trained, so I guess. I thought they started at three. We do have some, we do have, I mean, there's also some early childhood special education right. that starts even before right. the age of three. Um, I was thinking they're probably in for a quick 20 we, minutes. Right, then that would, so maybe that has to do with them? We, okay. we, I just we, we provide personal cares to high school students. Right, and I get, understand that. That to me is different too. Okay. Okay. Just ask. I can find out for you though more specifically. Um, and maybe it just pertains to like some of the. E I mean, maybe that's what the deal is. I'm not sure. 
I just was wondering. And typically, I would assume their parent would be with them. When they're that little, yeah. A lot yeah. of them are parent type. I know, I just. And with the early childhood family education, sometimes that's part of it, and okay. you know where they're where they're at with things. But I I have to be honest, I'm not well versed in that, okay. so I will. I just I will when find I was out and reading through it, back. I was just wondering. I thought I was surprised by that, but maybe it just has to do with the younger kids too. I didn't yeah. think about that. I guess. Okay. Are there any other questions? I did see one thing, just because I have a disorder, but um. So in the student handbook for the high school, under academic and instruction, it says the minimum is 59, but then under the con commencements in number six, it says 44 credit requirements. That should probably be changed to 59. Okay. Good so. catch. Okay. I never knew that. It's just my. Well, that, one. that is page four. Because those numbers just changed too. Didn't they they just changed, yeah. They may have missed one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Any other discussion on them? Any other discussion? Hearing none, do I have a motion to approve the handbooks? So moved. Second. <coughs> we got Lance and Katie or Brad. No, it's scarcely. Chrissy. 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 Yeah. Okay. It was close. Nope. Brad could have it if he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Okay, all those in favor of approval of the handbooks, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Hearing none, motion passes. So with those two changes, though, correct? Correct. Right. Okay. Yeah. Move on to 11.6, approval of employee handbook. Is there any discussion? This is new and this is part of our strategic plan when we uh, did the surveying of staff and, and uh, with the uh, strategic plan that we did a year ago January talking about uh, you know employees and expectations and communications and those types of things uh, one of the things that we're looking at doing is, is putting this employee handbook together to kind of work on having district-wide expectations uh, things being written clearly in there uh, you've had a chance to look you can see it talks about just about everything that has to do with being an employee building principals still will have expectations of staffs there but this is in general uh, you know what are the expectations that we have as a district for you uh, we did uh, have the employee groups sit down ask questions ask for clarifications so we did do that last week uh, Chrissy was actually there we and uh, so we've made sure that if anything that wasn't clear we've made it clear if there were other items uh, we've updated them so um, this is our first run at it uh, our idea is is that we put this in place we see how things go if there are things that are missed if there are things that um, aren't there or uh, should be taken out we can have those discussions uh, but we feel like this is a good step in having those common expectations that people seem to uh, have concerns about and, and we're trying to address them so um, this is our there's been employee handbooks here uh, I found out uh, but I don't know where they've gone but um, this is one for 2000 2021 22 school year so uh, that basically the board is putting in place for us so okay is there any further discussion any discussion hearing none do I have a motion to approve the employee handbook so moved Chrissy Second. and Randy all those in favor of approval of the employee handbook signify by saying aye aye, aye. aye. opposed same sign hearing none motion passes 11.7 Approve the Heartland Colony lease for 21-22. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Again, this is one I brought up to Kevin earlier. Uh, they will need to update the the Hill and Brown names are in the lease. That's in case <laughs> okay. any students need to come in for education. I mean, those students are eligible to come in for. Um, education programming or services if needed 
no. there. So. I'll make this okay. Okay. And this is a uh, you know the colony. Uh, we provide education programming. Their space. We end up leasing it for one dollar. Uh, kind of a formality so that we have that agreement uh, to uh, educate their children and, and they provide that um, right now it's in the basement of their church I believe our community hall or church right it's their church yeah so it's on ground level though isn't it you walk down the steps really down, down so I was thinking that was because I thought the lease says it's on it's supposed to be on ground level well you well can you walk in? I walk down four steps to okay. get into okay. the classrooms. Unless there's another entrance that I don't know about. <laughs> it's entirely possible. Entirely I don't go out there. The one I've been directed to go in is four steps down. Okay. So it's the bottom floor. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but we do this annually with the yep. colony. So. Yep. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? Hearing none, do I have a motion to approve the Hartland Colony lease for 21-22? So moved. <laughs> Second. <laughs> okay. Did you get that, Deb? I'm still not sure who was the first. Brad and Brad. Randy. Okay. okay. All those in favor of approval of the Hartland Colony lease for 21-22 signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. And that motion passes. 11.8, resolution approving school district 2689, long-term facility maintenance 10-year plan. Each year we have to provide the state with our 10-year plan. We update it as need. Um, we can levy for these dollars, and so this is the updated plan. I will add that um, the amount of money we will be uh, able to get for maintenance is going to drop significantly because uh, it's based upon square footage which we're getting more of but it's also based heavily on age of your building so because of the new elementary and the old elementaries dropping off there'll be a we will get about 50 percent 55 percent of our LTFM allocation um, now when this building hits 25 years old the kind of another formula kicks in and so um, it'll It'll start to bounce back up again, but um, we also shouldn't have as much. Oh, so we shouldn't have as much. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we've done a lot of work, and so um, we'll be kind of just making sure that we take care of everything with this. Okay. Is there any further discussion? Any further discussion? And I have a motion to approve the school district 2689 long-term facility maintenance 10-year plan. So moved. Second. Katie and Randy. Got that, Deb? Okay. All those in favor of approval of the resolution of the 2689's long term facility maintenance 10 year plan signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Hearing none, it was unanimous. Eleven point nine resolution regarding fund balance transfers. Fund balance transfer from basic skills extended time to general fund unassigned fund balance. Are there any questions? I'm confused. What okay. That? <laughs> I'm this confused. Is, this is <laughs> okay. For two years, the state told us we had to reserve two percent of our basic skills money and put it in extended basic skills for summer. Now we don't have to reserve it anymore. We can't even use the accounts that we used to reserve it in. So I asked when I was at U-Force training, well, why? Well, all of a sudden, for two years, we had to do it. Now we don't have to do it. And they told me, politics. So they said, move the fund balance now and move it to the unassigned fund balance because the less money that you have, I'm never politically correct. Um, the less money that you have in the reserve, the better off you are because then you have freedom to do to, to spend it. that money in okay. how you want to. Perfect. So that's what that's about. So that 32000 is what the fund balance was in extended basic skills at 630-2020. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Clear as mud. I love my person. I'm proud of myself. No, I, I do. That's good. Yeah, okay. I understand. It's Jackie's world. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Any other questions? 
Hearing none, can I have a motion to approve the resolution regarding fund balance transfers? So moved. Lance. So Second. And Randy. Okay, all those in favor of approving the resolution regarding fund balance transfers, the fund balance transfer from basic skills extended time to general fund unassigned <laughs> fund balance signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Hearing none, motion passes, and Amy is the absent one on that one. Okay. 1110, approved demolition bid for Brown and Hill Elementary. You want to address that, Kevin? We received five bids uh, for um, the demolition of Brown and Hill. Um, Charles Anderson has done all of the base work to for what this needs to be done they verified the scope and uh, all of these companies bids are based upon what we wanted done and uh, they they say they won't give us a recommendation but they said here it is and everybody's going to meet the expectations of what you want uh, for the demolition of those buildings so okay my concern is still the stuff inside the buildings um, I know a lot of people would like to have a chance to either buy or get some of them of the things that were that are in the buildings and I understand that they take over that but what is the process for that because the last thing I want is us to approve one of these people and then someone to drive by and all that stuff is in the garbage out there it's gonna be a problem I'm somebody just saying it's a problem it? for me Does somebody want to buy it yeah well then they have to get all the deer saying, saying but, we want to buy this. But if, are they going to, how does that process work? Is that, are we just, are, do we know that for sure that they're going to say, yeah, yeah if you want to <coughs> come in and buy it, you can, or? We're giving it over to this company. That's part of the bid. The I know. I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that. That's what I'm saying. Okay. We can, okay. Okay. Any yeah, other questions? Is there a way that we can, like, sell it first or like have people go through it I mean I know that's a lot of a, a lot of extra work or whatever but I mean I think it would I think it would go far in the community if they could come in and I want to buy that table okay buy the table you know I don't know I don't know I I think that's a, a good idea too just to well the taxpayers own it it's a taxpayers thing I mean the taxpayers bought everything that's in those schools and right. I get that we're in, you know but I just feel like that, that is my biggest concern about it, and I don't feel comfortable giving it all over to them where, when I don't know or understand the process right. at which people can contact them and get those things if they would like them. Okay. I agree. So what is the timeline for them to, to do the demolition? Um, I know it was going to be this fall, so. Okay. So is the Pee Wee baseball field included in that demolition? No. Is that parking lot included in that demolition? I know the road is the circular road at each one of them. Parking lot at Brown? Yeah. I can't remember. And that's playground at both places? would be included in the bids. Right. So do they take down all the trees that are there? They level everything or no? Not there are some trees that are, that have to go for so them to right. get at the building because there's a bunch right. of trees right along the building, right but not all the trees on the lot. Only the ones that interfere with them taking the building down. Okay. It says right in the bids that what they're taking, which how many trees and yeah, the one said seven trees. Oh, is this, I guess I didn't see that in the one I looked at. One of them, it doesn't well, say the one, that, Kevin. Okay. The one list parking, the asphalts and concrete. So I've seen one was. And parking lot. Okay. Um, one had trees, I know that. Yeah. Okay. Some I are like really detailed. I didn't notice some that. Some are, yeah, right. some are not right. detailed. So if, if we didn't approve tonight and ask for further clarification, is that going to put us in a pickle with anything? I don't know. Some of these bids. This have is a what we 
this is what we've been working on and yep. if yep. you want something different you gotta well I've expressed these concerns before yeah I mean yeah. it's not something new that hasn't been brought up before I mean I feel like we keep saying that they can contact these people but I still don't know how they contact these people I'm not trying to I know and throw a problem into it, but I just and we've talked about it. It's, yeah, not, it's complicated. There's asbestos. There's a lot of things that go into this, and yep. you know, um, and yeah, I know everybody wants to buy a table for for two bucks, but when right. it costs us five dollars in labor to get it all set up, I mean, then we start having to put a price tag on it, and then they say, well, we don't want to pay that. Right. Well, this is what it costs us to set all this stuff up for you there. You know, and, and I, or they want us to give it away. I mean, if you want to give it all away, we can set it all out on the curb. But, you know, we've already kind of put all this as part of this is everything in there because we had, we had projectors and things, and it was like, are these going? And I go, nope. And so our tech people had to scramble and go get all that stuff out of those buildings because that wasn't going part of it. But we've taken what we've needed. We've sold to other schools what we've... Um, you know things that other schools could use for educating children and the rest we've said will let these companies deal with it that was the recommendation of the facility steering committee and that's where it's at okay. if they go back on their word I, I don't know what to tell you um, but that was what we asked for with this and that was who we wanted to take care of this because what you're saying is going to cost us time money yep. effort energy to get all of this stuff out so the public can pick through it and whatever they don't want then we're throwing it in the garbage at least these guys are salvaging it and, you know or well I suppose we could again cost us money to put the steel in one <coughs> pile and tin in another and uh, mm -hmm. well, whatever we those things them the bid this way Right. Well, and if you look at some of the bids, it, it specifically lists contents, right. you know, that looks certain well, things. got wood he wanted. I mean, he wanted some wood yeah. for, for projects that he could be utilizing. So, I mean, we, we've taken what we want out of there uh, from educational things. And, you know, I know people are worried, but we're not leaving reams of paper and things that we can use are, are not being left there it's it's the stuff that we don't use so okay I'll do whatever you guys want me to do so here's one on dualists remove and dispose of asphalt concrete playground surfaces and equipment it's right in their bid I mean I noticed that too there's a lot of difference discrepancy between all these tree removal <laughs> seven trees will be removed north side of Brown Elementary so there's some well I wondered about that lowest but it really doesn't tell you what's all in right does that cap the sewer it doesn't say it I mean, involved the other ones do right but it has to meet the bid specs that we had and then oh, so there was, okay, verifies okay. that so okay. which, which Dis disconnect utility so everything's been checked okay. off that right. list. yeah Krauss Anderson did okay. all like the background work and verified that it met the specs that we had posted so it doesn't matter what's on there yeah sheet I mean, they could have in much detail as, we, as okay. they do you know and if we want clarification Krauss Anderson could probably get that but okay you know. that, well as long as it's and and I I questioned it because of it's the variance in the sizes of the bids right because of what one of the bids we had issues with in this in the new facility mm -hmm. and um, right. yeah they they are have assured they've checked it and, and again it, it'd be bonded so they right. can't come back and say well we're halfway done we're not going to finish it right and this low bid is also the one that did central yep So, where does the low bid fall to what we have in the budget for the decommissioning? I think the budget was like six hundred and thirty thousand or six eighty. One of the two. Okay, seems close. <coughs> I mean, we're doing it regardless, but I was just curious. Yeah. No, the one thing is, no matter who does it, is we don't want to see the ball field, the equipment that's there, right, destroyed. That was not part of any demo. Right. The property's still ours. Yep. We're just, these yep. buildings are what. Yep. Is. And 
I mean, if we would have said you can't touch any trees, then they would have had to work, work around, around them. them. But yep. we said right. if you need to remove some of these trees to get at, we don't want you to. Do yep. we know any timeline with any of them? I mean, like when they would start or? I was told this fall, you okay. know what I mean? It sounds like they could get going, so, you know. <coughs> yeah, the, the one September, thing. September, October. I, one I thing I've seen is they're, they all pretty well said they'd probably have to seed come spring, which is true. You know, give it time to settle, get it re-leveled, and, and give it time to grow come spring. Well, I think the, the, the company that did did the old Central High School, I mean, that property looks nice. The grass is, you know, they leveled it, they seeded it, it didn't settle, so they packed it well. It, it, it looks like they did what they were supposed to do, so. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? Can I have a motion to approve the demolition bid for Brown and Hill and name which company you would are making the motion for? I take a motion to approve DRC Incorporated. Okay. The little bid. Do I have a second? Second. Is there any further discussion? Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of approval of the demolition bid from DRC for the demolition of Brown and Hill Elementary Schools signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Aye. aye. Katie and Christy. Okay. Motion passes 4 2. We'll have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Katie, do I have a second? Second. All those in favor of adjournment, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, aye. same sign. Hearing none, motion passes. Meeting adjourned.